Hey guys, welcome to the Pool Man University videos, a member of the Pool Nation family. And today we are talking to Bob Lowry, the founder of PCTI.online. Bob has also written 21 books in the water chemistry. So those of you that know Bob, you know he's a legend. For those of you that are new, you know he's the number one source for education in the water chemistry. And we want to thank him for joining us and always taking our questions for the, from the pool guys and the pool girls out there and answering the questions. So welcome, Bob. Hey, good morning from Lima, Peru, everybody. Hey, Bob, thanks for taking the time. Bob, we did have a question from a brand new pool guy, and that was specifically what is it that you make or happens when you mix liquid chlorine and liquid acid? Uh, that's, that's a real no-no, guys. Don't ever do that. Um, it is so dangerous that, that you can burn your skin, burn your eyes. You could even die from doing it. And uh, it is some nasty stuff. Uh, when you put the two of those together, um, it makes uh, hydrochloric gas, not hydrochloric acid, but hydrochloric gas. It also makes chlorine gas. And the two of those are just nasty things. And um, they will tear up your lungs and put you in the hospital quickly. You can, you can, dilute them and put them in a pool in the same day, but you cannot pour them together into a bucket or anywhere else, man. You will, you will be in seriously bad shape if you do that. Um, if you try to put them in a bucket, it is an exothermic reaction as well. And it creates some incredible heat. Um, so you definitely don't want to ever put those two things together. Uh, it involves chlorine gas and it involves uh, uh, hydrochloric gas, and, and those two gases can be uh, very explosive, and they only take UV light to set off the explosion. But fortunately, when we mix them together, we're mixing them together usually outside or with enough air around us where we're not going to get an explosion. But, um, but we can get an explosion if we mix those two in a closed container and then expose it to a little two spark or a light, it would actually explode the, the gas above it. But it's super, a super problem. So don't ever even mix a little bit of it together. All right, Bob, so let me ask you. So that's obviously the liquid chlorine and the liquid acid. Would the same reaction happen if, let's say that I have powdered chlorine, whether it's dichlor or trichlor, and I accidentally get some acid into that dry powder form, would I create the same reaction? Yeah, and probably even more so uh, because the two liquids are fairly dilute, but in the case of one of them being a powder, it's probably a fairly large concentration of chlorine and other things that are in there. So when you put those together, those actually do cause an explosion. And, um, and we see this happen a lot. One of the big explosions that happens all the time is when you put trichlor and calhypo together. And when you put the two of those things together, that causes an explosion. And then it causes a fire after it causes an explosion. So if you put those two things together, they definitely cause an explosion. And it happens every year, many, many times. And it may be gonna happen more and more often around pool because there's gonna be a trichlor shortage this year. And because of the trichlor shortage, people are gonna be buying tablets, homeowners specifically, are gonna be buying tablets thinking they're the same tablets that they've been using in their chlorinators. And if there's some residual trichlor in that uh, chlorinator and they fill it up with calhypo, it's fortunate that it's gonna take about five minutes for that reaction to, to happen. But about five minutes after they put the two of those together with a little water in there, it's gonna cause an explosion and it will explode the chlorinator. It'll break it open and blow the top off. It is, it'll split right down the seam and blow open. I've seen many pictures of those things. I've seen them in person. I've also seen it when people take the, the 
when I worked at Leslie's as a technical director, we used to get somebody every summer say, I want to sue your company. They sold me some exploding chlorine. And I said, what? What kind of exploding chlorine? Well, you know, tell me what happened. Well, I have this little rubber ducky that I fill up with chlorine. And I put some chlorine in it, it ran out. I got some, some other chlorine I put in there, put it in the duck. And five minutes later, it exploded and launched the duck. And, and I'm going to show you guys, I could have been killed by that duck. And, and then I usually ask them, well, you know, have you got the remains of the chlorine in it? What's it say kind of chlorine on it? Uh, here's a uh, trichlor or something or other. Okay, what kind of chlorine did you buy? Let me get the bag. Okay, I got the bag. It says uh, calcium something or other. Okay, well, it says right on the chlorinator not to mix the two of those together. It also says on the container not to mix them together. So you mix them together, you made a mistake. But, and they understand that, but you put the two of those things two together, man, it makes a hell of an explosion. And so um, you want to, it may be going to happen more and more often. You may get a homeowner calling you up all frantic when the chlorine exploded. It'll be because they put some cal lipo in with some dry All right, Bob, I want to thank you for your time in answering that question. Guys, Bob is the founder of the Pool Chemistry Training Institute. Down below, we're going to list the date for his next training that's coming up. We'll share that with you. We'll also put the link to the PCTI.online so that you can remember to go there. It's a great site, great resources. You're going to want to go there. They've got a lot of articles, of a lot of information. Bob, I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for your time to taking the time to answer all the pool guys and the pool girls questions. We really appreciate your education and your continued support to help us in the industry. Hey, you know, I love doing this and I love my passion is is water chemistry, and I love talking about it. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care. We appreciate it. Guys, join us. Bob joins our podcast once a month to take your questions, and you can find us at Pool Nation Podcast. You can find us on any platform. You can go to poolnationpodcast.com. I can't speak today, Bob. I'm kind of going out there at the end. So join us, guys. Bob also joins us once a month on our Instagram Live where we answer all of your questions, and that's at pool.nation on Instagram. Go ahead and follow us. Bob, once again, thanks for your time. Sure. I love doing it. I'll see you next time, guys. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, Bob.